Okay, I so, said, you know, if you want to go over there, but the wind's blowing this way, you got to do what? Yeah, you have to tack. Yeah, you have to tack. And your direction, of course, looks sort of like this. That's where you want to go. But that's how you get there. When they figured out a way to put engines in ships, they started calling ships that went across the ocean, ocean liners. Because for the first time, yes, 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 it's a good point. Likewise, when we write, we cannot be sail ships. We can't indulge any whim that comes along. You're writing about high school, and suddenly there's a guy named Killer who was notorious. The next thing you know, the story about high school has turned into a story about Killer. That's not what you set out to do. So you're wasting time. You're getting away from your mission. You're succumbing to the first breeze that comes along. <clears throat> Consequently, your writing suffers. How many times have you read books that seem to take you here, that take you there, without any purpose? When you write, particularly when you write novels, you're creating a perfect world. In real life, we take wrong turns. We say, um, a lot. We date the wrong girl before we find the right one. We waste a lot of time doing real stupid things. In your novel, however, it's a perfect world where everything in that novel serves the mission. What that means is that we cannot imitate life and go from here to there. We've got to have a mission. And when you lose sight of that mission, that's when that's when you run into writer's block, which is only natural. If you started out with a road map, and now you're somewhere that's not on a road map, what are you going to do? You're lost. You stop. One of my authors, a guy by the name of Chuck Emma, he's on his second book now, but he always writes the endings first. Think about that. Once you have the ending, then you fill it in the pieces to get there. And your job's already got easier. If it was a journey, you know you're going to Paramus, New Jersey. You know you're going there, and you know it's north. And now you can plot your route there, but you know where you're going to go. Now, once we have our mission, we have to know what we're writing. And what I mean by that is a letter a grocery list, a novel, a history. These are different types of work that require a different amount of concentration. If you're writing your homework assignment, 250 words, that means naturally you're not writing a book. You're writing 250 words, which means you have to train your mind for a 250 word left piece. So that means editing yourself as opposed to telling all the details, tell enough to make your point and move on. If you have a problem with that, a very specific way to solve that problem is to count. Is to count. You know the story, just a little paper on the Civil War. You can't talk about the whole Civil War. You can't isolate certain generals because if you isolate him, why not isolate him? So, you decide, I'll just tell a story. And every story has a what, a what, and a what. Beginning, middle, and end. How the war started. Major battles. Uh-huh, how it ended. In and out. 